We are indeed with Alice Lee after a tremendous performance in a Game 1. Alice, every time I see you, it feels like you're more and more confident. Your game gains more confidence. Do you feel that way as well? And I've seen you play in the Pro Chess League as well. You've been carrying uh, the St. Louis Archbishops. How do you feel about that and this tournament? Yeah, I think like the past few tournaments, uh, including like the Pro Chess League, I had like a lot of opportunity to play against really strong players. Um, this tournament is no exception. So I feel as though like I can um, I can realistically speaking have chances against anybody uh, and in this opening uh, this game I guess um, I think it was like a pretty smooth game mm -hmm. uh, I got a good position out of the opening and then I felt like I had like a very pleasant end game to play and she had like lower time so yeah I think this game definitely went well but uh, I still have another game tomorrow how did you come up with this idea of starting off with this aggressive f3 against the uh, Nimzo um, so I sort of thought like I want to have like a win, um, at least here I have better chances with the white pieces and uh, and it's the first game so it's You wanted to put pressure on her. Yeah, so um, this move is like something that I've never played before, it sort of like gets out of all of her preparation and um, yeah I like I overall just thought that like this was a good line to play especially to play for a win, um, since she probably wouldn't be reviewing this before the game and uh, I would be able to get a position where I just reviewed it so it's more comfortable uh, for me to like play. I probably will have more time out of the opening. Um, and yeah, I think that strategy worked for this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And did you feel that you were achieving your goals based on her time spent in the position? It didn't feel like she's very comfortable uh, with this position. Yeah. Um, so actually I didn't know this line too well. I knew up to like uh, move 12 and then I didn't know what to play. After rook to e8. Yeah, so I think uh, this is like a pleasant position um, and like obviously I had like uh, a bit more time than her, uh, 10 minutes more. And I think in this position uh, I thought like this would be pretty pleasant. Uh, I didn't know exactly, but I thought like I probably will be able to like trade into an end game, and I'll probably play like e4 and my bishop on uh, the dark side bishop is really good. Um, so I thought I had pretty good winning chances here. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. You entered this superior end game, just slightly, but definitely you have some pressure, yeah. and you're playing for two results. How did you assess it, and what were your strategic aims in this endgame. What were you playing for? Uh, so here I guess I have uh, like 30 minutes, she has uh, 11. So um, I saw like uh, this position, I didn't I didn't know whether it was like a win or a draw. Uh, I thought like, but I saw that the rook ending would definitely be like really unpleasant for her mm -hmm, to play, mm -hmm. especially with much lower time. And I thought like I had extremely good practical winning chances. So I'm not sure if this was like I had any um, other better moves here, but I thought objectively this was, uh, practically speaking, this is like um, this should be like very hard for her to play. Mm -hmm. and, and you made that transition, and Yasser was in fact very happy with this transition. <laughs> he was giving you more than 75% chances at this point to win this game. Did you feel the same? Yeah, I thought like. Um, if I'm able to sort of defend, consolidate the king side, still remain a pawn up, then I can probably like activate my king more toward the center, um, possibly create like g3 f4 past pawn, mm -hmm. um, which I think I sort of uh, did in the game, uh, and then like maybe bring my king in more, um, and yeah, I think the a pawn on the side is to my advantage, even though my rook is stuck defending it, because yeah, here eventually I was able to win it after her rook got uh, sidetracked. And after this, I think I was just winning. Very nice, Alice. Congratulations on an explosive start in uh, this tournament. Guys, any questions? For Absolutely. Alice? First of all, uh, our congratulations to you, uh, Alice, for a wonderful start to your campaign this year. Last year, you were a finalist. Um, but you're coming into this tournament with one year's experience. And it seems to ourselves that this one year has been very, very good to you. Your, your, your career is, uh, you, you, you've been doing great. Why? 
Um, I think I've spent like a lot of time on chess, especially like um, I've been trying to like branch out in my play style, uh, like go for these more attacking openings. Um, and I think uh, the past year has been pretty good. Uh, I think mostly I just gained a lot more experience, especially from like playing in these tournaments. I played in this last year, and I think that gave me like um, a lot of like experience playing against strong players. And I've been uh, playing in strong tournaments like almost every month. So I think overall my uh, form is pretty good. I just like played in a, a tournament before this. Um, and yeah, so I think like overall, uh, the past year I definitely gained more experience um, and that has definitely helped me improve. Yeah, and uh, once again, congratulations on, on winning your first game. And uh, you mentioned that you were playing a lot of chess and I'm sure all parents out there would be really dying to know. Um, how do you combine chess with the schoolwork? Um, so I'm actually a part-time student. I'm in eighth grade, so uh, there isn't too much schoolwork. Um, I have like one math class at the university, which is taking like a lot of time, but other than that, I think uh, since I'm still in middle school, next year will probably be like more uh, like tough for me to manage with schoolwork, but I'll still keep trying to like play chess. I can probably like, uh, I usually talk to my teachers before I go to a tournament so they can give me the work before time. And I try to do it uh, before or sometimes um, like during or after tournaments. And yeah, I think overall like the balance for schoolwork and chess hasn't been too difficult for me, although I have missed like a lot of school. <laughs> you, you said the word university. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Alice, you alerted us. What well, did you mean by that? What, what, what did you mean what by What university? What type of university oh, are you attending? Like, um, there's a math program at the U of M called uh, UMTM, so it's like um, pretty advanced and um, it like teaches people from like 6th to 12th grade um, high school and college math. So uh, currently I'm in my first year of Calc 1 and... Um, Calc 1, wow. <laughs> I, it's like... Impressive. Um, it's been a bit difficult to keep up, but I think overall, since my grades are okay, um, I usually try to... They only have like one class a week, so I only have to like... Uh, if I have like a tournament, I can probably like do stuff beforehand. Um, but yeah, overall, that's like the only difficult class for me, um, and the rest is okay. Well, Alice, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Go do some uh, Calc 1 homework. I, I stopped at College Algebra, guys. I mean, I stopped at College Algebra, you probably passed that. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Wow. She can't 